Camtasia 2020 comes with five major new features, but are the features significant enough to justify the $99 upgrade price? In this video, we will go over the new features and figure out if Camtasia 2020 is right for you. New feature number one, templates. When you open Camtasia 2020 for the first time, you will be greeted with a new splash screen. The main new difference in this splash screen is that you can start a new document from a template. You can save documents as templates, then at any time open that document. With the default Camtasia template, you will notice there is an intro, a placeholder, and an outro. So a placeholder is basically how it sounds. It is a placeholder for when you want to place actual content in that space. This is useful for when you know you need to get new footage, but you don't quite have the footage yet. You can create a placeholder so that you have structure of your video. Then when you get your actual footage, you can easily replace the placeholder with your footage simply by dragging it on top of the placeholder. New feature number two, export packages. Exporting a package allows you to export basically everything from a project you are working on. All templates, themes, libraries, or even shortcuts can be exported. This is exported into a zipped file that you can send to someone else and they can now import this into their Camtasia and basically have all the same resources as you. So this obviously is geared towards collaboration and is a great new feature if you are working on a team. New feature number three. Favorites. In previous versions of Camtasia, if you have an annotation or transition that you really like and you use all the time, you basically just have to remember it. In Camtasia 2020, you can finally mark things as favorites and refer back to them easily in the favorites section. This obviously is a great way to help streamline your video creation. New feature number four, magnetic track. This feature is a way to keep all your footage in a track together. When you turn on this feature, it removes all the blank gaps between clips. Similar to this feature is the ability to now be able to easily insert clips in between two other clips. In previous versions of Camtasia, if you wanted to insert clips, you had to manually move all the clips out of the way, insert your clip, then move all the clips back. But now in Camtasia 2020, you simply insert new clips by moving the clip in between the two clips where you are trying to add it. New feature number five, track map mode or alpha track. This is a mode where you can basically add transparency to the track to allow you to play video on a shape or text. In addition to these main new features, I have also noticed improvements to the media bin. Camtasia 2019's media bin basically allows you to toggle between icons and the file names, whereas Camtasia 2020's media bin has more viewing and sorting options. Camtasia 2020 has other small changes that I noticed and probably many more changes that I've not yet discovered. The changes they have already implemented so far make me really excited though and have already helped me streamline my video creation process. So here is a template that I created for my videos. When I use this template, it helps force me to remember concepts that I want to include in all of my videos. It's really nice to be able to easily create and rename placeholders to help me out with things like this. Perhaps the feature I've enjoyed the most so far is the magnetic track and ability to insert clips easily between two already existing clips. So this has already saved me a ton of time. And now that I've used this, it kind of seems crazy that there wasn't this function before. Despite my excitement for these new features, I do have to say that some of the new features also make me long for some more improvements. For example, while I think the favorites are a great addition, you still are not able to save customized favorites. I can't, for example, create an animation with a certain zoom level, then save that as a custom favorite. This is one of the features that I miss most from moving over from other video editors. The media bin improvements are great, but the media bin 
still does not allow you to import folders or manually organize by group. And lastly, it seems that video clips from my Sony A6000 camera don't import with any audio. So this is definitely a bummer and will force me to have to use Camtasia 2019 for a while longer while this bug gets fixed. So I guess the ultimate question here is if I think the new features are worth the $99 upgrade. So personally for me, the magnetic track alone saves me enough time that I really don't think I can live without Camtasia 2020. The other major features are pretty great too, but these features don't really have as big an impact for me. If you work on a team though, I think that this upgrade really is essential. The export package feature is a great addition for collaboration, and even for me personally, I don't work on a team, but I can see me using this feature to back up all my resources and settings. So if I ever decide to reinstall my OS, I won't lose anything because I've got this already backed up with this export packages feature. So now that you've seen a brief overview of the new features of Camtasia 2020, what new features are your favorite? Also, what features do you feel are still missing? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below.